I was living in Milan and I was recently separated and I really didn't know, I had no idea what I was going to do <laughs> with my life. I had no perspective, nothing. I started to paint the iconic women because I was feeling so lost. <laughs> I needed inspiration. Then came uh, Maya Angelou, and it had a lot to do with my story as well about um, being abused as a child. Me viola com um segredo. Quando chega a noite, ela me mata. Eu não vesti o anonymous women. Uh, it's a little bit of a challenge because I find the references on uh, image banks, but I don't know their stories, so I have to come up with something in my head. One of these self-portraits, one of them, um, I painted right after uh, a session that I had. I was <clears throat> doing this therapy. There was a group therapy. The proposition was to have uh, victims of sexual abuse in the childhood, so pedophilia uh, victims, and pedophiles there. And I kept listening to this man talking. I wanted to feel some sort of empathy, but I had so much anger, I had so much pain. I don't think I ever felt so angry and crying. And in the end, when it was done, I started painting. And, and I just kept on, I don't know how many hours, and it was so cathartic to just put all the pain, all the crying, all the anger, just put it in the painting. It's like a map. Now I can see it as a map, so things falling into places and why I chose the things that I chose, why I made these decisions, and realizing that so many things that I did wasn't, they weren't really choices. They were just me feeling so much pain and just running away from it. And then I found myself here and I found myself there. When I decided to do the self-portraits, it wasn't to really show to anyone. It was more something, an exercise between me and my, my therapist to, because she wanted, she liked to me to, to write a lot. And it got to a point that I just couldn't write anymore. And I told her, I want to do, I want to, I want to paint myself. I want to draw myself. all of these months, I talked to so many other victims, I heard their stories, and they helped me. So it always comes to my mind, if they helped me, maybe mine can help someone else. Even if it's just one person, that's fine. And even if it just helps myself, it's also good, because, you know, it's less crazy person around, so that's good. <laughs>